Hey guys, one thing I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention in the last video, if you happen to see what I've done here on these tomato plants, this is a one liter soda bottle uh, cut off, this is a two liter soda bottle cut off, you know, trying to go all green and everything. Um, don't follow my lead on this. These, these were very tough to transplant from. I had to cut them and then the roots are all, just the, the, the angles are really hard to get that, uh, that root clump and all the dirt out together at the same time. And I cut it, but then it gets really hard to cut down here because the plastic's thicker and the roots are all in these little uh, knobs down here. So I tore off a bunch of the roots just trying to get it out of there even though I was cutting it as well. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to do this again. Um, another thing I'm not going to do again, and I'm sure there's a lot of folks that'll uh, disagree with me, I'm not using these peat pots again. Um, I think all my stuff that I've done in the peat pots and then put in the ground uh, became root bound. These things have not decomposed. I cut several of them away and put these things in my compost pile. They are not uh, disintegrating at all in that after over a month in the compost pile they look exactly the same as the day I put them in there so I'm not going to use those again I wasn't happy with those at all so I'll just use uh, these little things to get the starts going and then use these regular pots that I'm happy with eh, just a little bit of advice from trial and error on my part Sammy ate it. <laughs> Whee! She won't let go. <laughs> oh no, here comes Lexi ruining the day. So around the base of this uh, big liquid amber tree I have in the front yard, I planted jasmine in 2005, and they struggled, but finally they've just taken off. And the reason I'm filming this is something about jasmine. When I was a kid, there was a jasmine right outside my bedroom window, so that smell just takes me back to summertime as a kid, which a lot of great memories. So my question for you, is there something like that that takes you back to a positive time? Post below. Bye now.